Do you have a moment? Need to talk? I mean no longer a moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. Got a problem you're calling me? Thought you rejoined the family. Well, I... Yes, I did. But I thought... I suppose that means you're not willing to come. Am I right? On my way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. Catch a break.
Yeah? There's something you want? You recommend any chrome in particular? Eh, you know, cyber implantation's like buying shoes. Everyone needs something different. A net runner won't have the same needs as a solo. But if you spend a lot of time in the Badlands, it's worth investing in cloaking gear. Hollow skin, active camo, what have you. Compared to the city, surrounding area might look deserted. But less folk doesn't mean you'll be safer. Here's what I recommend. Move quietly. Don't draw too much attention, else things can get real ugly real quick. I know. I was raised by the backers. Ah, well, I don't have to tell you then. I want to get myself chipped. Straight to the point. I like it.
V, you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I'm that stupid? I am starting to wonder. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to wow. do. Wow. Seems a lot changed while I was away. No. Nothing has changed at all. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I felt the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to peddle it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay. So you do want to go behind Saul's back. And drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. Why well, Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Remember a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. Now, you're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. I am watching you.
you try to get Saul on board again. No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short. It's all too... easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Coming your way, almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys. A few years back, nobody would have given corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent, let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Yes? What's up? Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. The Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Had a hard time leaving my family, too. I was never completely alone, either. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I'll remember that. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the Basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Seems to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They use it as their reloading point. They didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years. Since the Blackwall days. For a time, Everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear. 
Like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in the spreadsheet as cost optimization. It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Any of this goes south, you know Pan Am will be the one to pay. Do you see us hanging her out to dry? Do you see Saul letting us off the hook while Pan Am takes the fall for everything? I'm starting to like this kid, Ted. He thinks he cares about Pan Am more than the girl's own family. I think you want to use Pan Am to get rid of Saul. Listen, V. You know what makes a good leader. Not some cliched adages, that's for sure. The ability to overcome adversity, solve conflicts within the clan, trounce efforts to undermine your authority. Meaning you're putting Pan Am through the nomad school of hard knocks? Breeding a good clan leader? Pan Am? I was thinking of Saul. Pan Am is a goddamn pain in the ass. It just happens that's exactly what Sol needs. Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? Um... Got a use for me? Not particularly. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? Need a hand? Of course, but in your shoes. My, that was quick. The stairs it is then. Thank you. 
I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Here we are. Carol! What are we looking for? What more? Nada. Well, well, well. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Let's find the cards first. Got something. Good job. <clears throat> In the reader? Here goes nothing. It worked! Come look! Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you.
Missed you. Pretty bad. Oh, well, this means... Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. No time like the present. Okay. Go ahead. That was a joke. Listen, V, I believe I know where this is going. And not to your liking? No, it's not that. I also wish to talk about it, just not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. Sounds like a plan. What went wrong? It seems you saw right through me. Didn't have a clue how you'd react. You're not the only one shooting in the dark. I would not want to cock this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Don't feel any impulse at all right now? Shame. I was hoping you did. I do. But I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. We could still Sit your check. ass down a minute, honey. The parade Three. will soon start. Everything's under control. I will control. wait. Where are we The convoy is already heading By the stalls. Way. Just stay out of trouble, okay? You worried about Saul? Quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another once over. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? 
New. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. You don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. How to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. And to Jackie. Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, you could end up like... Like the backers. <laughs> we'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Grown kind of cold out here. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me? I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh dear, that means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V.
moving. Get her up to speed. It'll speed you up. V, no hemming and hawing. Take out that coupler. We're getting close. This will slow. V, shoot out the damn coupler. Surround them as soon as they're cut off. Plan, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You better move. going there, V. Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting with Mitch and Teddy. Someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me.
I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! And out! So it begins. of this exactly what you see the basilisk all i see is two trucks with giant militech logos on them fuck pan am you can see them from miles away you think we don't have problems enough on our hands the raffins could rear their heads at any moment and now we have militech to worry about too stop it fuck just shut up already do you want to serve corporations forever fine go right ahead in that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. Family's with you on this, I think. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. Saw them looking at that basilisk, drooling. Nomads, panzers, panzers, nomads. You had them from the start. We'll see. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Hi there, V.
B. Just in time. Ah, oh, Goro. If you're here to jump, remember that there's help available. There's a round-the-clock hotline. That is not funny. The parade will soon begin. I adjusted the data from Okada-san. I advise you to examine it yourself. To begin with, the malware works. Truly, much better than I anticipated. Our eyes and ears are in the guard room. I observe the CCTV and I know where the sniper positions are. They are a trio. You must make each harmless before they do the same to me. There are many ways to reach them. The first is nearby. He should not be a problem. The second is worse. You will have to climb. As for the third, he hides on the footbridge over the street. We are here. Hanako-sama's platform will stop here. Close to the emergency exit we will use when all is done. From these points, you will have a clear view of the parade. But the snipers will see things even better. If they notice you, bang! No more thief. If this sounds dangerous, consider that I must leap to the float, enter through a window and meet Hanako-sama face to face. The last is what I fear the most. Is all this clear? Are you ready? Wait. Things go to shit. We got a backup plan. What do you think? I am accused of betraying Arasaka. Soon I will try to confront the sister of the CEO in person. There are no backup plans. This one must work. I'm ready. Question is, are you? I formed this plan. Did I not? All the while ignoring one crucial element. Your friend, Oda. Oda is a man of honor. He would not dare raise his hand against me. Maybe. But you're gonna be dropping in on Hanako by surprise. Huh. You have a point. Instinct and reflexes win out at the moments like this. So... So I can only hope that I am still faster than he is. Stay safe, Goro. Take a hike. I am in position. The floats have started to move. Remember to be careful or you will face Arasaka drones. I also spotted the netrunner in an Arasaka uniform. She's somewhere, hidden. Okay, good to go. Then let us begin. You must reach old snipers before Hanako-sama's float appears. Saburo Arasaka, the poor chap, world's most powerful, turned into a commercial hack. Surprised. He's a symbol, an icon. Even in death, his net worth increased much. Saburo, I'm sure you're laughing nice and much. I suppose we're not nearly as Out here, back inside, back inside. Oh, 
You are close. He's almost in front of you. He's watching the crowd, not his back. Oh no, what hit him? I know that borked out ogre. Adam fucking smasher. Guy killed you, right? Guy, motherfucker's barely human. But hey, know what? I'm glad he's here. You're glad? Seeing as I woke up in a world without any Saburo, I'll have to be satisfied with smasher. You gotta be satisfied. You got fuck all to lose. All right, fine, we. Your finger on the fucking trigger, I guess. Try to reach the maintenance area. You can climb up from there. No surprises here. All the factions have deeps on the ground. No, don't think so. But this at a sand Ketwalk don't look too stable. Sure Takamura didn't plan a little whoopsie daisy for you. Fuck! Almost fell. Carefully, you must not draw attention. Told you so. Sound of a 
You will have to get down somehow. Just be careful. Yes, just so. Don't rush. I need you alive, not the corpse below. cowardly act of violence. It was an act of violence aimed at the world of values in which we all share. As Night City is its witness, the Arasaka Corporation shall rise from this ordeal stronger than ever before, as it did 50 years past. This is happening here and now. <laughs> Listen, for we will not stay silent. Silence is not golden. It is the sound of a flame extinguished. What did soldiers say? 
target down. Good to us to hear. You will find the door to a staircase. It's at the end of the room. It's the shortest route to the next sniper. He positioned himself high. Keep you posted. P, it is Ora again. Listen. We have to announce that public safety has been compromised. She must be extracted. At once, Arasaka is fully capable of protecting its principles. Ask your boss what he values more. The Arasaka image or his sister's life. The situation is in hand, over and out. Did you hear? They know something. Perhaps much. We must hurry. Try to reach the maintenance area. You can climb up from there. And if that doesn't work, you can use the footbridge to your right. Watch out for the float jets. Unless you intend to get cooked, I would keep my head low. <laughs>
Ashuta patrols the footbridge. That was something. I will personally find you and bury you! I saw something. On my way to investigate. Well, that would be all. Yes, apparently. Well done. One problem remains. And that is... The Arasaka Netrunner. She has taken control of all the networks. You must get rid of her. We'll not be able to hijack the float otherwise. She hides in an unfinished apartment building. 
Yeah, to the second sniper's nest. Okay, on my way. Shit, not good. On a while. Time for a break. Fuck! Of course you're here! Stop targeting! You must try another way! The distance! What's the distance? Stay away from his plague! He will slice you like fish! You can quit and wrap the city! You
pay for this. I... I'm sorry, Yoda. No! Brought this on yourself, too. No, you didn't have to. V, what is your status? I... I managed to... He's breathing. For now. Please, be Show him mercy. There should be nothing standing in your way now. We press forward. You and your fucking sick sense of honor. Today's your lucky day, though. You thank... Your old friend, Goro. It is I who thank you, B. Okay, Preem. Online and in the system. Hanako's inside. What is she doing? Trying to call someone, I think. Try to listen. Do not forget to disarm the alarms. I must be able to enter. なぜとまったんだ。危険だと警告されたの。織田とも連絡が取れないし、何か変だわ。パレードを中止すれば弱さを露呈したと思われる。弱さ誰の花だの。俺たちだ。私が参加したのはあくまでもお父様を追悼する
美智子は文句を言ってないぞだがお前が言うなら中止してもいい全部やめだお前の安全が第一だからな兄さんやり終えましょうありがとう花子せっかくの式典だやり終えなければ悔いが残るゴロ All systems jammed. It's now or never. Otosama. Hanako-sama. Anata wa. Oyoshio. Doka. Hanashi dake demo okiki kudasai. Saburo-sama wa. Shichi no koto o kuchi ni shinai. Ore ga ore ni dekiru saigo no gohoshi na no desu. Saburo-sama no shi ni tsuite shinjitsu o akasu koto wa. Hanako-sama. Bure o hatarak taki arimasen. Shikashi. V. Ram. Shit! 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 He shot her. Well, now we're really fucked. Knew we couldn't trust him. What happened to keeping him on his leash? We'd best oh. delta the fuck out of here. Ah. You have no right to keep us here. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Cyber psychosis. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, for now. Lost your fucking mind. There's no time to explain. We must meet. Where are you? An abandoned apartment block on Pine Street. Second floor. Number 303. Knock four times. Hurry. I almost got trapped. I look okay to you? We're about to go live. Three, two, one. This is Jillian Jordan of N54 News coming to you live from Japan, where a commemorative parade in honor of Sumo Arasaka. Well, well, well.
Okay, come inside, quick. I feared they had caught you. Right about now, Hanako is the most famous missing person in the world. I am aware. So every Arasaka soldier is on our trail. You're right. Let us not waste any time. I offered her some tea. You kidnap Hanako Arasaka and offer her a cup of fucking tea. Yes, she respectfully declined. Tell her the truth about Yorinobu. No embellishment. And state your terms clearly. Perhaps to you, she will listen. I was there that night at Kampeki Plaza. I saw Saburo Arasaka die. He wasn't poisoned. That's a lie your brother made up and spread. Yorinobu is the murderer. You must be mad to think I will listen to such nonsense. Mad? Got no idea, lady. Got a voice in my head, see? An engram. One of your personality constructs. Engram? Yeah. I stole the relic Yorinobu tried to peddle off on Netwatch. While I was making my escape, I got a bullet to the brain. Relic saved me. But now, the damn thing's killing me. And I gotta stop it. Hanako-sama, this is living proof of the terrible crime your brother committed. We can confirm every word he speaks. If only you will help him with the relic. Hanako-sama. Did you hear that? Go and check. I got a bad feeling about this. Get the fuck out of here! Takamura! Can't leave him back there. Forget him, guys toast. Unless you want to wind up like him. with me thank uh, me later Kaka need to find a way out now fast there are empty rooms to the right it's our only chance mm. 
Be careful. We must go different ways. Alone, we have a better chance. Really? Think so? Then go. Now. Think they make these motels especially for royal fuck-ups like us? AC's busted, dirty needles under the mattress, shitters clogged. No, for real. Who fucking comes here to sleep? We're a couple miles outside Night City. Someone leaving town just keeps driving. Somebody going there sleeps in the damn city. What good's a motel in the middle of nowhere? I'll tell you who sleeps yep. here. Just two fucking losers. And I thought we were screwed when Goro kidnapped Hanako. Mm-hmm. See, decide to cross a corp, this is what happens. 
You think you just stepped in shit. Actually, you fell head first into a cesspit. Anyone knocked, blast the fucking door. No warning. And if it's Goro? Who are you kidding? Been 24 hours since we split up. Complete radio silence. Rest in peace, bastard. Saw him yourself. Even without his implants, he was a good fighter. He'll pull through. Doesn't matter how good you are in Night City. On your own, you're fucked. Hear that? Car. At this hour, in this place? Fuck. Just one? Finger on the trig, V. for V. Don't touch that door. I know you're in there. Who's there? I said, who's there? Oh, want the whole motel to hear, or will you let me in? All right, gonna let you in. Finally. Ugh. That on the wall, is that... blood? Yeah. Yeah. Knocked the last star off this dump. So, you were saying... Got a message? Sitting right here. <sighs> It'll start soon. What'll start? It's a doll. Or a proxy. <clears throat> I must make one thing clear. I still think you are mad. But... Hanako. That you? But I can fool myself no longer. I believe you. How'd you find me? Did you really think it would be enough to leave the city? Takamura mentioned he had placed a tracker on you. Yet even had he not, when Arasaka wishes to find someone, it finds them. Porcelain bitch. Any word from Goro? We split up when we went on the run. Takemura is in a secure location. That is all you need to know at this time. Okay, so now that you know and believe, what's next? Yorinobu planted a tanto in the corporation's very heart. I must act while the wound is fresh. And you will help me. You are living proof of his crime and treason. You're gonna help me first. Perhaps I did not speak clearly. We must act quickly. Well, I'm pretty tight on time, too. Dying, in fact. My dead body would make for a pretty lame-ass witness. I understand. Want to know everything you know about Mikoshi? Mikoshi? One of my father's flagship projects. A data fortress with servers situated on orbital stations all around Earth. Think of it as an archive of personality constructs. Digitized psyches. Try a prison. A matter of perspective. In any case, that is not where you will find salvation. Not without extensive knowledge of the relic and the construct creation procedure. Is All I know about problem? constructs is that one of them's out to kill me. Got no idea how it wound up in the relic. Or how to remove it. There is only one possibility. Soul Killer. Or rather its newer, more powerful version. You must acquire it. Me? 
That's our Arasaka tech. Technology my brother does not allow even his closest associates to touch. My hands are tied in this matter. Track down your runaway. Hellman was hiding under Kang Tao's wing. We chatted. Think sooner or later the engram will completely consume me. Process can't be stopped. A surprisingly deterministic conclusion for a man of science. At the very least, I got my hands on the relic schematics. Got detailed information about its inner workings. Project tech documentation. All useful. Even more so, given that Hellman is still alive. I will contact him and explain that one does not leave Arasaka by the back door. That's about the extent of what we've got. What now? I am sending you my private line. Contact me if you acquire more information about Soul Killer. And only then. From this moment onward, we both must exercise extreme caution. That's my job done. Know what? What? I think I'd have rather had a wave of Sokka leads barging here. We got what we wanted. Don't tell me that proxy got to you. Fuck you. Come on, think about it. Yesterday, Hanako was living in a world that was completely safe for her. What she got on her hands now? A foreign city a homicidal brother, and a fucking thief. It's why she sent a proxy. She's alone. And she's shitting herself more than we are. Uh-huh. Clink. What? Did you say clink? Mm-hmm. Sound of her attaching her leash. Sure, be there soon. Fuck me, it is awesome! <laughs> so I hear. number is temporarily unavailable. Please leave a message. Jack, I got no clue where you are. What happened to you? It all got so fucked up. If you... If you're there somewhere... Fuck. I... Oh, what am I doing? 